Let us all understand what is Nipah virus. Nipah virus is a zoonotic virus transmitted from animals to humans and can also be transmitted through contaminated food or directly between people. Fruit bats also called flying foxes of the Theropodidae family are the animal reservoir for the virus in nature. The first outbreak was reported in Malaysia and Singapore in 1998-1999 period. The name Nipa came from the name of the village in Malaysia where the person in whom the virus was first isolated died of the disease. In Bangladesh, the virus appeared in 2001, 2003, 2004, 2005, 2007, 2008, 2010 and 2011. While in India, the outbreaks have so far been limited to West Bengal and Kerala. Infected fruit bats can transmit the disease to people or other animals such as pigs. People can become infected if they have close contact with an infected animal or its body fluids such as saliva or urine. This initial spread from an animal to a person is known as a spillover event. Once it spreads to people, person-to-person -person spread of the virus can also occur. Human infections range from asymptomatic subclinical infection to acute respiratory illness and fatal encephalitis. Infected people initially develop symptoms including fever, headaches, myalgia, vomiting and sore throat. This can be followed by dizziness, drowsiness, altered consciousness and neurological signs that indicate acute encephalitis. Some people can also experience atypical pneumonia and severe respiratory problems including acute respiratory distress. Encephalitis and seizures occur in severe cases progressing to coma within 24 to 48 hours. Approximately 20% of patients are left with residual neurological consequences such as seizure disorder and personality changes. According to the WHO, the case fatality rate is estimated at 40% to 75%. The diagnosis of the virus is often not suspected at the time of presentation as the initial signs and symptoms are non-specific. Nipah virus infection can be diagnosed with clinical history during the acute and convalescent phase of the disease. The main tests used are real-time polymerase chain reaction from bodily fluids and antibody detection via enzyme-linked immunosorbent assay. Other tests used include polymerase chain reaction assay and virus isolation by cell culture. Considering a plea questioning the approbation on electroconvulsive therapy for treating mental illness, the Karnataka High Court has recently issued notice to central and state government asking them to file their statement of objections within four weeks. The High Court bench comprising of Acting Chief Justice Satish Chandra Sharma and Justice Sachin Shankar allowed the petitioner for impleading the National Institute of Mental Health and Neuroscience as a party respondent to the petition fresh food products. Keeping bats away from sap collection sites with protective coverings such as bamboo sap skirts may be helpful. Freshly collected date palm juice should be boiled and fruits should be thoroughly washed and peeled before consumption. Fruits with sign of bat bites should be discarded. Gloves and other protective clothing should be worn while handling sick animals or their tissues and during slaughtering and culling procedure. Regular hand washing should be carried out after caring for or visiting sick people. The plea moved by a consulting neuropsychiatrist has sought to quash Section 94.3 of the Mental Health Care Act 2017, which restrains using the therapy in question for treating mental illness, claiming that the prevention of ECT treatment violates the rights guaranteed under Articles 14 and 21 for the patient. The doctor has sought in his petition a direction on the government authorities so that the ECT treatment method could not be allowed on those patients patients who have suicidal thoughts. Out of the 251 persons who have come in contact with the boy, 129 are healthcare workers. 
Of these identified persons, 38 are in isolation at the Korikod Medical College Hospital and of which 11 have shown symptoms. Never miss a medical update from Medical Dialogues. Like, subscribe and press the bell icon.